Roz, you know, it's, 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 it's really sad because there is the real possibility now that both James Harden and Kyrie Irving will be out for game five. So do you think, Roz, that Durant can win a game without the rest of the big three? Yes, I definitely think that it's possible for the Nets and Kevin Durant to win a game, win the series without Kyrie or without Harden. But, you know, I think one is going to take KD being great, but two, this is going to be a team wide shift that's needed. First and foremost, this team has to be able to meet the Bucks intensity, physicality, toughness. They were out toughed by the Bucks in this game. The Bucks, starting with PJ Tucker, setting the tone, sacrificing his body, getting on the floor, getting in fights. He might've gotten away with some fouls too, but that's part of the game plan. Nobody's paying PJ Tucker to play pretty basketball. His job is literally to muck things up and hit corner threes. And he set that tone. So as a team, the Nets need to change their attitude and be tougher and more physical in the next game. And then the next thing I would say that's also important is going to be ball movement. If they're without Kyrie and Harden, they're without two top playmakers, guys that can create their own shots, create shots for others. So what's gonna be key is ball movement, body movement. And all those role players, I don't want them out there just chucking up a bunch of shots in game five uh, of the playoffs. I want them to work harder to create easier and better shots for each other. Movement without the ball, ball movement, playing in pace, uh, beating a good physical Bucks defense down the court before they get a chance to be physical and set up with you, transition and some offense over defense, ball movement, attitude shift, and toughness. I think that's how they can do it.